there's something that we saw in the previous section that doesn't add up. What we saw is that if you have two sources of equal intensities, say I, and when they constructively interfere, they give you a resulting intensity which is four times I. Why is that? Why not two times I? Why is it four times I? Is this some sort of an energy creation? Because basically intensity talks about energy. And we know that energy has to be conserved. So why is it that we are getting four times? What do you think? If you want to figure this out for yourself, then I request you to stop the video and then when you think you have figured it out, continue it. Alright? Okay. I'm going to give you the solution now. Are you ready for this? Alright. So the secret lies in not the construction, but the destruction. You see, when we have a destruction, you have the two sources, they kill each other. Now, we can ask ourselves, where does the energy go? Is the energy destroyed there? So in, when we have destruction, I plus I gives you zero, right? So there is that missing two I, and that missing two I has gone to the construction. And that's where we get the four I from. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, that is amazing. So what we see is that in, a, in, in an interference, uh, energy is not created at construction and not destroyed at destruction. But what is happening is that the energy is being redistributed. And for me, this is amazing. I mean, I think that nature is artistic. You see, well, if you have two coherent sources, what nature is saying that, okay, when the two, uh, let, when the two bright sources interfere, instead of just giving twice the brightness everywhere, let's interfere in a nice, interesting way, where at some points we'll have zero brightness, and at some other points, instead of having twice the brightness, we'll have four times the brightness. So that is a very, very artistic and an interesting way in which nature interferes when we have two coherent sources.